Now there's only one place to go for all things arts and craft, and that's Charon's Bookstore. In addition to all your back to school supplies, Charon's has everything you will need for that art project. Visit them at their three locations, 53 Eastern Main Road to Napuna, 24 Eastern Main Road San Juan, and Level 1 Trin City Mall. Contact them at 663-1884 or check them out on Facebook at Charon's Bookstore TT. Now let's get to crafting. What's up you guys? It's time to get our crafting I on. I got I got you scared. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope I didn't scare you guys at home. Of no, of course, we're going to do, well, I was told we're doing a surprise craft. So yes, I actually we are have, doing a surprise craft. I have no idea what we're doing. But as always, you know, we got plugged from our friends at Charon. So you can check them out for all your crafting needs. Yeah, so Stacey, tell me, what are we going to be doing today? I'm we're seeing be working on an art piece for the kids to put into their room. And I think the mummies and daddies might like this one as well. Come Ooh. up with their own crafting. So I have in front of me a piece of canvas. I mean, yeah, so fancy. Yes, yeah, with a little frame and everything. Yeah. I know, right? So this makes them exciting. Cost effective wise, we can use the back of a cereal box. We can okay. use tick paper. Mm -hmm. We can use um, there is this Baltic board for $20 a sheet and you'd buy an entire large piece, slice it up for them. Mm -hmm. Bristol board is perfect. We don't have to go out, but cereal boxes are the bomb. You can right. use that in your craft, right? Great. So we'll paint it with some white paint if we don't have canvas mm -hmm. availability. We need paints for this craft. We need tape, scissors, and another piece of crafty cardboard paper. Oh, I can see Renata does not know what's going on. No, I don't. And I just brought gloves because we're going to get our hands messy. Dirty. Yes, we are. Dirty. Whatever color paints you guys want to do. So the first thing I'm going to start with, because Renata is going to be mimicking me for this craft because she does not know what's going <laughs> on. And we just all be, are going to be uh, following with yes, you. I'm just going to strip pieces of tape and put it all over my canvas blocking off some areas where I don't want it to be painted yet. I'm just going to randomly put it. Okay. I feel somebody's going to have OCD and start putting her tape very neat. That's fine. However but then there like. are the ones like me who just do it randomly, which, I mean, as we always say here, uh, you know, imperfections are... It's part of art. There is no and it's what imperfection makes things in art. True, I love it. There isn't. You just turn it into something else. A drop of paint something falls. Something unique. That's right. A drop of paint, paint falls somewhere that you, you didn't want it to fall. That's fine. We can turn it into an eye or a swirl yeah. or something. So I've already taped mine. Okay, so now it's time for me to... Oh, I should have... Not put the gloves on yet? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be using a sponge to do our artwork. However, that's going to, they're going to just do it and then they're going to be done. In like a jiffy. But when a kid holds a paintbrush in their hand, they feel like an artist yeah. and then it takes them a little bit longer mm -hmm. to do coverage, doesn't True. it? True. So you can wash and you can go do that part and you can, yeah. you know, because you know that your eyes are on them and they're occupied. So that's a little secret, okay? I think I'm just doing one more. Oh, I love the way that's shaping up. Look at you, born abstract artist. I know. You still don't know what's going on, right? Right. Yes, uh, yes. So I am going to apply. I'm going to leave the red because what's going to happen here, maybe I should give you a gist, is we are going to cut out a heart. Ooh. Yeah, but we're not going to meet the ends because we are doing our very own stencil. Parents, you guys are going to have to help out with this guy. So I got, I'm going to use this Ooh, nice. Piece. So moving. So we got our stencil. Yes, we did. And we're going to make sure it fits because we don't want it to cut. Oh, you look so lovely. I know. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Da -dum -dum. Love it. <laughs> so, I like I said, I'm going to use a sponge, but mm -hmm. you can choose your technique that you would like. 
I am just going to pour random paints. Mm -hmm. You can do as many colors as you like in this one. And what I'm going to do is wet my sponge first. Squeeze all of that liquid out so you just have a damp sponge. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start applying paint in the areas that does not have. Oh, like the texture as well that yes. the sponge is yes. giving. All the time. So you can go straight across like this Ooh. or you can do up and down. Now, you have a choice here. I'm just going to put a little bit of purple in everything. Okay, in all of so my you could spaces. mix it up. That's right. What colors are you using, Renato? I think pink and um, maybe a little yellow. Ah. So I am going to wash this color out with my sponge, off my sponge, and then get into hmm yellow. Can you imagine a kid picking up their mom's sponge from the sink and going, Oh my what goodness. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm just going to go crafting. Like um, Auntie Ren and Auntie Stacy did on TV. Right. <laughs> and then we'll have people, mommies and daddies on the WhatsApp messaging us. What did you tell my child to do? <laughs> They're taking all the sponge. Honey, where's the sponge for the dishwashing sink? It's true. Probably in the kids' room, love. Maybe parents should get like an extra sponge yes. for crafting purposes yes. specifically. And I mixed, I, I don't know if you could see it. You like got some orange, orange going on, dear. Because the two colors mixed. Yes. So, haha, -ha, we're going to remove our tape. Now, I would prefer that we remove our tape. When it's dried. When it's dried. It's a lot. But because I want to show you guys Ooh, that is the nice. effect of this. I think you should leave your gloves on. I was and just. Remove the tape. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I'm just gonna drop this here. Okay, now, guys, see. this on its own is a work of art. A masterpiece. A masterpiece. And can you imagine doing a ray of them in the same colors and then lining them up on one wall? That would be yeah. so awesome. Yeah. And again, like you, when we started, you were like, this is a nice thing for kids to do. Um, and, you know, hang up in their rooms, etc. And you're gonna have a a toddler doing something like this and you're going to be so proud because that is going to be his or hers first yeah. art piece. Yeah. Now, ideas. Paint their hand in a different color. Put it right. in there. Right? You can do uh, the shapes. This is why I cut this off because we have to wait until it's dry. Rest this in the center here. Paint out the heart because you got another stencil mm -hmm, going here. Mm -hmm. Paint the heart in whatever color you like and get a word in the middle of it, something right. that motivates them, something. Or you can still put that baby's handprint in the middle of footprint or something to that oh, effect. Nice. And create your own pieces to put in. And make your it house. personalized as That's well. That's right. Valentine's and, Day and it, present. I was not going to say, and if you have to go out, purchase something. I mean, we took, what, five minutes to That's do this. Right. That's it's right. It's going to be very expensive if you mm -hmm. have to buy one of these. Mm -hmm. So definitely get in on it. Yep. Um, where can they find these canvases? Oh, the canvas they can purchase at my place. Mm -hmm. Yep, and of course, you don't need to take it and carry it. You could stay and paint at your yes. spot as yes, well. Yes, you can. Number 94, SS Erin Road, Philippines, San Fernando. We got pottery going on, we've got craft going on, we've got canvas, we've got sip and clay. Mm. How does that sound? I love it. Sip yes. and clay. What's the number to call? 778 3271. And you'd get me all the time, Stacey. Let's all right, have some so, fun. yeah, let's have some fun and need. I have been, and I can tell you, listen, it's legit a whole vibe. But <laughs> that's it from us here on Kitty Craft. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Don't forget, for all your arts and craft supplies, check out Charon's Bookstore. Visit them at their three locations, 53 Eastern Main Road, Tunapuna, 24 Eastern Main Road, San Juan, and Level 1, Trin City Mall. 
contact them at 663-1884 or check them out on Facebook at Charon's Bookstore TT. Have fun crafting 